Hey guys, this is Yash. In this video, I'm going to be walking you through how to use the AI audio silence remover feature at Snappy. And this is one of the best features that, or best audio silence remover that I've ever used, right? So I'm not going to be boring you with all the complex theories on how to use this because it's very, very straightforward. All you need to do is, you know, go to the app.snappy.ai slash audio silence remover and then upload your file. Now this supports the MP3 files. So go ahead and find the file that you want to process. I'm just quickly looking for an audio that I can send across. So you can see I've selected like a very small file that says thank you for using Snappy, right? But there is like a pause of sorts. So you select the file that you want to trim, then there are a couple of options that you can go through, right? So there is the default setting that works for almost all use cases. There is a low background noise setting. So if you are in a studio setting and maybe you're recording a podcast like I am, then you can go ahead and choose this setting. There is a high background noise setting where if you're in say creating blogs in a traffic area or a cafe, you can select this. If you are creative, then go ahead and select custom settings where you can specify the silence duration that you want to make cut after. So let's say you want to make cuts after three seconds of silence, right? So it will consider that threshold to make cuts. And you can also kind of, you know, manipulate what kind of decibel should be detected as silence, right? So it's minus 45. So to get some indication, you can move the cursor here. So minus 50 would mean very quiet background and then minus 20 would mean you have a loud background noise right and again from the padding perspective i won't recommend you make modifications here but this would mean how much seconds before and after the cut you want to retain right so 100 is best in most cases but i'd recommend just using default and trying it out because it works for almost all these cases go ahead and click on the video after it's ready this can edit an hour worth of video in less than a minute, right? So it's really, really good uh, when it comes to editing and removing silent parts from your audios. Maybe you're, you know, you want to edit your lectures, interviews, speeches, and so on and so forth. This is a great, uh, you can see it's already ready, right? So I, unfortunately, I can't play the audio right now because Mac won't allow me to share uh, the audio here, but the, you know, the file is ready and you can go ahead and download it. So that's how cool the audio silence remover is and, and that's how simple it is to use, right? So I'd recommend going ahead and giving it a try. They also have a feature where you can remove the background noise. So feel free to kind of play around with the platform. And if you have any questions, feel free to drop those in the comments. Thank you so much guys and have a good one.